Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today I just moved a uh, refrigerator from a different location into my new restaurant that we're building. It's just an old refrigerator to keep sodas cold. And when I brought it in, my refrigerator was not level and it doesn't have the, the little peg legs on it that you can adjust by turning them. It has wheels. So I got to adjust those. So I figured I'd show a video on how to adjust the wheels on a refrigerator that doesn't have little little feet on them i guess would be the name of them feet so come with me we'll come down here what we have is we'll have a little kick plate right here that needs to just pop off so you'll take that little kick plate off of there scooch it off to the side and the only tools you're going to need for this are typically either a flathead Phillips head, nut driver, which I have an all-in-one here, a flat bar, a piece of wood or cardboard, should you have either concrete finished floors or flooring, wood flooring or tile that you don't want messed up, it's highly recommended that you get a piece of uh, wood or something to protect the flooring. And if you have bad knees like I do, either a uh, a pair of knee pads or a knee board and let's get started so this right here scooch you over here. at the front of the refrigerator when you take off that that little grate kick board will be a big screw and possibly a little screw that holds the, the little mounting bracket together that holds the wheel in place so if you look here back in here there is a little housing for the wheel so anyway what we're going to do right now is adjust this wheel so if you adjust it to the left it's going to lower the refrigerator and that refrigerator is shaky see that so if you want to adjust it sometimes it's really difficult to adjust these wheels with the weight on your refrigerator and if that's the case where you can't adjust it you'll take your flat bar with your piece of wood towards the edge of the refrigerator, not here, because this is easily bendable. And you're just gonna raise your refrigerator up with your flat bar, like that. And then turn that nut to the right. And as you turn it to the right, that wheel will lower to the ground. And you're gonna wanna do that till either you're level or your refrigerator is no longer shaking. So right now, refrigerator still a little loose I'm going to continue to turn this to the right and luckily enough I don't need there we go now my refrigerator is a lot more stable I'm going to give it one more quarter turn now I'm going to use the flat bar and that is going to loosen that nut up so you can easily turn that nut. You see how easy it turns? So I've got my refrigerator stable now. It's not rocking back and forth. That's just going front and back for the wheels to move. But that's how you adjust on either side. You can do it on this side as well. Right here is another nut. And you can either turn that to the right or to the left if you need to. So I'll put that board down on the ground. Lift it up a little bit. And you can turn that up to the right or down to the left. And then you can use a level to level off your fridge at that point. I hope this video was helpful. Like and subscribe if you like the channel's content. It helps us out quite a bit. And we appreciate you stopping by and watching the videos that we're putting up. Um, this refrigerator is a Kenmore fridge, but they're all pretty standard. 
when they have four rolling wheels on them. The, f the backs are not adjustable, but the front of the refrigerator is, so you can adjust it up or down or left or right if you need to. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up.